Guys, it's Luke Mead here, and today in this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to find a software developer for your app, idea, or startup. Let's get straight into it. I want to say off the bat that the first thing I've done before I've even started to look for a software developer is I've mocked up a prototype of my software in here that I want to build. I've used Figma. I've got a video on this in the um, comment section below, in the description below, if you have a look. But the powerful thing about this is that it lets me share my software idea with developers so they can understand how it works. And this is quickly how it works. So hit report, you put in the title, upload the logo, change the font. It's pulling in this data here from Facebook ads. You hit generate PDF and bam, the PDF is generated. So I want to take this idea and find a software developer to help me do it. So where I'm going to start with is is inside of Upwork. If you haven't heard of Upwork before, it's essentially a place to find freelancers from all sorts of realms. If we head to the main website, you can see they have freelancers from anything from web developers through to, you know, IT experts through to graphic designers. So you get everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to post a job. You have to sign into Upwork if you don't have an account. And we're going to probably say... It's probably a short term or part time work, part time work. So we're going to go continue. And the job we're going to say, we're going to say we need a, we need a software developer for browser based plugin for Facebook ads. So that's a descriptive title that covers everything we need. You want to include the keywords that you're targeting in your title because this is what developers are going to be searching and looking for. So in this case, I've chosen to use the words software developer, browser-based plugin, and Facebook ads. So those are the three keywords I'm going to be targeting. In your case, you want to do your own. So full stack developer is a developer that does both the back end of the coding and the front end. So I would definitely want that or you could choose some other categories in here. In my case, I'm gonna choose full stack developer, but if you're doing a mobile app, you might wanna go through here and find a mobile app developer. Next, we're gonna select the skills that we need them to have. So in this case, I'm not really sure what they need to have. I do know in my case, I need them to have Chrome extension skills, definitely API integration skills. I'll add API there as well. And if we have a look through, we probably, oh, I'm not really sure what we need, if I'm honest. Let's just leave some of these out that we don't know, because we don't want to shoot ourselves in the foot and rule out people that, or rule out people that we need or not need. So we'll keep it fairly broad and just put in the things that you need. Next, we're going to hit scope. And really, it's probably a medium sized job. How long will the work take? I think one to three months. Um, I'm probably looking for intermediate level. In your case, if you want someone cheaper, you can go cheaper, but you keep in mind that you are gonna pay more as you go down further down the list. Now let's have a look at a budget. So I'll put a project budget, and let's say we give it a value of 1500 US dollars, in my case, that's what I want to start with, and we can negotiate from there. And now we can review the job. Software developer for browser-based plugin for Facebook ads. Describe your job. In this case, this is where I'm going to link through to my Figma prototype. So what I'm going to do to get that is I'm going to go share. Anyone in the link can view. Copy link, and the link's copied. So now I'm going to go into the job listing and say, looking for a software developer to help with a browser based plugin for Facebook ads. I'm going to link here and write here is a mockup slash prototype 
of the software it will need to and this is where you want to link out just the basic fundamentals of what your software is going to do it will need to integrate with Facebook ads data in order to generate a PDF report which the user can download. Now, if you had a file you want to attach it there, anything else like screening questions, if you really knew what kind of design you wanted, you could put those in here. In my case, I don't actually understand. An important thing you might want to put in here is you might want to have your English level in my case, I do want to be fluent or better. I don't want to be working with people that can't speak English. That's going to be a massive problem. I don't have any time requirements yet. And all of these can pretty much stay the same. Now, this can all stay here. This is all pretty advanced features. Now, all we've got to do left is publish it. So bottom right, let's hit post your job now. And there we go. Your job is live. Now, the coolest thing about Upwork is that's just taken those criteria that we've put in and it lets us invite freelancers to our job. So we can see here, we've got freelancers that are, we can apply to our job and we can plug them in. So if we have a look, we can have a look at what they've written about themselves. You can see a lot of these are WordPress plugin developers, Facebook ads, technical support, WordPress, e-commerce. So none of these look like they're really standing out to me. I might want to put in Chrome here so I can find people that are good at Chrome. Here you go, I completed two Chrome extension jobs with Upwork. I'm gonna put invite him into a job, send an invitation. Keep in mind you've only got 15 invitations to send. So pick and choose who you want to send invitation into carefully this guy here sounds important well it doesn't sound important but has got skills in full stack development python scripting web scraping and chrome extensions so i'm going to invite them to a job too and this is how you can go about finding a software developer for your business idea whatever it might be you can use upwork to first get started, get some people in, and see what their skills are. It's not the perfect solution, but it is a really good place to start, and I highly recommend it. you give it a crack. I hope this video helped, guys. If it did, have a look through the channel. I've got plenty of content. I'll speak to you all next time. Ciao, ciao.